Um, Mr. Massa Nagai, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, could you please uh, briefly introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Massa Nagai, um, uh, Acting Deputy Director of the Division of Environmental Law and Conventions of the United Nations Environment Program. I've been working with uh, UNEP for over 20 years uh, in the field of international environmental law and uh, increasing also uh, <coughs> addressing uh, capacity building activities and uh, in particular also uh, in recent years like uh, uh, handling the projects uh, addressing uh, uh, capacity building judiciary and also uh, like transactional environmental crime uh, issues just uh, new issues to, to us also. And could you explain to us about the importance of judiciary or prosecutors in enforcing environmental laws, particularly related to ozone depleting substances? The first of all, the law must be implemented and enforced at national level, otherwise no impact and no change in the society. And uh, in enforcing uh, the law, uh, the, the judiciary uh, is the uh, last line of uh, implementation and uh, the decision on the, uh, on the, ju on the judgments concerning the cases uh, of the environment has uh, so enormous impact on the national society that also has an uh, important impact for in uh, implementing international obligations. For ODS uh, issues, uh, that's also the important issues uh, internationally. But, uh, in the end, it has to be implemented nationally, and uh, uh, when there's offense uh, uh, committed at national level, there has to be uh, some solution uh, through the judicial system. And uh, for that reason, it's extremely important uh, to have all the uh, 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 enforcement channels be engaged in implementation on the, on the ODS uh, like commitment by countries. And uh, what could be the uh, obstacles for the judiciary to address environmental enforcement? I think uh, uh, this uh, is important issues, but uh, the challenge is uh, uh, judiciary is so much uh, overloaded by uh, various uh, issues, not just the environment, and, uh, because justice system work for all en uh, an entire issues in society, human rights and uh, other crimes and other uh, issues as well. So putting an uh, environment agenda for the attention of the judges uh, and, and, and the prosecutors also is uh, one challenge uh, and for awareness raising. But institutionally, uh, uh, if uh, there's uh, let's say a commitment uh, uh, as a whole, like uh, the judicial institution or such, uh, to educate or like uh, update uh, the knowledge of the judges and prosecutors in uh, new environment issues, then that would be uh, maybe a, a way forward. And one last question, what would be your suggestion for capacity building for judiciary? One important issue is uh, uh, this uh, capacity building for the judiciary uh, is uh, not a new issue, but uh, uh, as an organization, UNEP, we have been doing for the past 15 years. And uh, one important thing is uh, that it, the message needs to be understood by the judiciary, uh, who may not be uh, very much familiar with environment issues at all. So one important issue is uh, to bring uh, uh, the attention uh, to the attention of the uh, judges or prosecutors who handle the cases about importance of environment issues, like ODS issues, and uh, then uh, whether understand. But uh, in, uh, in the end, they are the ones to bring the case to the court and also the, uh, the make a judgment. And uh, for us, uh, it's important to, uh, in fact, uh, assist them in understanding and to get the new information uh, uh, to them, uh, especially the technical uh, ones, uh, which may not be uh, easy uh, understood and obtained uh, uh, by themselves. So uh, um, all those uh, uh, issues uh, uh, will be, uh, pro probably need to be addressed uh, uh, by a corporation uh, with the national government, but also uh, getting also uh, 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 assistant, make assistance available to the judiciary and the prosecutor as such in general uh, from our side, uh, for instance, by UNEP. Mr. Masson, thank you very much. Thank you.